My dad turned to face me, his head swiveling back and forth in denial. No, honey, you don't have to. Well, I'll come up with something, someone. Are you sure? He sat in his big chair and smashed his face against his hands. No, he groaned as he let his hands slide down over his cheeks. For some reason, he seems adamant that you go with him. That both excited and scared me, and a little, oh, squeaked from my lips. Dad rushed to assure me. But he never, uh, well, he, Auburn keeps things very professional when he escorts one of the models, if you know what I'm saying. He lifted one sardonic eyebrow. Ah, so no bow chicka wow wow? My dad chuckled and shook his head. Absolutely not. In fact, if he takes one of our models to a charity event and they are inappropriate in any way, they're deleted from the list of potential dates permanently. All the women you listed, Carmela and all of them, do they work here? No, those are women he's actually dated in the past. I thought maybe I could tempt him with one of them since he's broken up with Magdalena. Again. His last words were accompanied by a roll of his brown eyes. You don't like her. It was a statement rather than a question. No one likes her. She's a real piece of work. They break up every few months, and then he'll date someone else until she gets jealous and promises to change her ways. He'll take her back, and a few months later, it starts all over again. It's a vicious cycle, but hopefully this time the breakup will stick. Wrapping my arms around my waist, I quietly noted, sounds like Magdalena and BB were made for each other. Dad grinned, but his eyes flashed to the door behind him to make sure Auburn Bouvier hadn't materialized there. She's actually much worse than him, if you can believe it. His eyebrows lowered over his hooded eyes. If you do decide to go, and that's totally up to you, I can promise you that he will be the utmost gentleman. He just likes to show off his designs on beautiful women. And let's be honest, honey, you would be the most gorgeous woman in the room. That's probably why he's insisting on taking you. I think you're a little biased, Dad, I said flatly. His face softened. Not a bit, Gia. You have your mother's beautiful facial features. The mention of my mother made me sad, but I swept my emotions under the metaphorical rug. What would I have to do? Dad tapped his chin with one finger. Well, basically, you just have to stand around, smile, and mingle. Have dinner. I think there's usually dancing, but you can opt out of that particular activity. Thank God, I said with a giggle. I was notoriously clumsy. Dad continued, ramping up his gentle coercion as he warmed to the idea. And the food at this event is always superb. That's why tickets sell out months in advance. It's very exclusive. Fiddling with the zipper on my hoodie, I dipped my head before looking back at my dad. I'm not sure I would fit in there. Of course you would, Gia. You have excellent manners, thanks to your mom raising you right. You'd be fine. The confidence I had recently lacked seeped in around the edges, and I nodded. He was right. I took a deep breath and sighed resignedly. Okay, I'll go. My dad's shoulders slumped in relief, even as he asked, Are you sure, Gianna? I lifted my chin and nodded. I'm sure. I don't want your boss to be mad at you. He stood and crossed the room, wrapping his arms around me. That's for me to worry about, hon, not you. So don't go on my account. I do think you would have fun, and it would be a nice way to meet some people. Kissing my father's cheek, I said, You're right, it will be fun. <laughs>